Thanks for checking back at my channel. This recipe is for a spicy Mexican style chaffle with some chorizo, some cilantro, some taco seasoning, melty quesadilla cheese, and an onion. Come on and check this out. If you're not familiar with chorizo, chorizo is a spicy pork sausage. You can find it pretty much in any store. Um, it's usually in where most of your tacos and Mexican foods are located. Um, this one might be in more in the refrigerated area or in your meat section by the pork. Brown up your chorizo. I've got about a fourth cup of chorizo. Again, it's to the proportion of what your chaffles are. One egg will, one egg will equal to two, two chaffles. So um, a fourth cup of chorizo is an ample amount for the two chaffles. Because I didn't want to overpower it, I just want to add some flavor into it. Let's brown that up nicely. Add some small amount of onions. I probably added about two tablespoons of onions, not a lot. I do lazy keto, so I really don't carb count. I just kind of stay low to what I do know. So if you're a beginner, you may want to um, be a little more cautious, but you know, as you go along. Here I'm combining uh, about two tablespoons of cilantro that I added to this mixture. I put a little lime in there to give it some flavor flavor. Here I struggle to hold the camera and squeeze a lime. All right, add that in, mix it nicely. Get all those flavors nicely combined. Get your egg ready. This is eggs from my chicken. So you can make homemade taco seasoning. It's not hard. I'm lazy right now. I do lazy keto. I do lazy this. I have a busy life. I kind of move. So to kind of make it for my life, I just use the packaged stuff. But if you want to make your homemade, you could add some cumin, uh, chili powder, cayenne, garlic, and onion powder, oregano, some paprika, black and salt, black pepper and salt. And that's just the same thing as a taco seasoning. You can find that on Google anywhere. But just combine that to add some flavor. And then I'm going to put in the melty cheese. I thought this would be something different to give it a little more bland flavor, but yet to add a little Mexican flair to it. And I'm putting a little bit more in there. So probably about a fourth cup of the quesadilla cheese went in here. I'm sorry, correct me. A half cup. It was more than a fourth cup. So most chaffles you use about a cup of cheese to egg, but because I'm adding other things in, I kind of lessen the cheese. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of cheese in the chaffle maker just to, you know, kind of have it a little brown in the bottom and then on the top to make it crispy. Here I'm slowly adding in the chorizo to see where, you know, do I want it at, at the right combination. I don't want to overpower it with too, too much chorizo and have it too greasy. but as I was adding more in, I'm like, nah, just dump the rest of it. It was perfect. So again, fourth cup of chorizo, two tablespoons of cilantro, about a tablespoon of onions, a half cup of cheese, one egg. Here I'm gonna sprinkle that cheese. That's the trick to get a crispy chaffle is add a little melty cheese on the bottom and then add it on the top once you put your mixture in there. It gives it a little bit more of a crispiness when it comes out. I really did like this recipe. If you're looking for something different, you can even add um, some salsa on top of this at the end of the video. See, I put some avocado sliced with it with some salsa, some pico de gallo. I enjoy kind of exploring different flavors for chaffles. And here's the ending. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try this recipe um, to give your chaffles a little bit of a Mexican flair. Thank you for stopping by at the Busy Lady Life channel. Enjoy.